So I will make a little trip from my camp to Chateau Perpetus. I think I don't pronounce it good. Excuse me for that. Chateau Perpetus. It is uh, one of the chateaus I will visit. It, uh, it's a large one. And a uh, nice view. And I like to tell something about the guitars and uh, how everything is begun. In the case of the law, the universal law, cause and effect, there is no limit on this law. In the case of time and space, there is also no depth in the law, cause and effect, repentance, forgiveness. And this with the katas, in fact, starts by the man called Irene from Lyon. Irene of Lyon, he lived 140 years after Christ, is the first great theologian and church father of the Christian church after the period of the apostles. He was a great opponent of Gnosis. His very subjective formulation of the doctrine of reconciliation was later at the First Council of Nicaea in 325 declared to be the foundation of Christianity. It was immediately the weapon condemned those who want to a free faith. They were heretics, no human beings. The church and politics had thus create a weapon against those who thought differently. That weapon proved to be very successful, also for the slaughtering of the Karthas. Books on Gnosis were burned, and the heretic Christians also. Only in 1945, when the Nahamadi writings were found, did more light come on Gnosis. The Gospel of Thomas is highly recommended. The Council of Nicaea was convened more or less under pressure from the Empire Constantine, because there was a great unrest among the people who increasingly followed Gnosis, instead of the Church of Fear and Control. Now we know there was probably more unrest among the church leaders than the people. See also below this video descriptions and you can see and do a little research by yourself. This was a little voice over. I was here before. Look at the house in the, on the park place. I was searching for a camping, but that was no camping, it was only a parking place. Yeah, you could stay with the camper. And then uh, I saw the nice house in the rocks. You could see this. Tomorrow I will do a phone call to Holland for asking uh, new uh, crash bars and a good one this time. And uh, what it costs to send them here, because I stay here longer, and now I have the uh, opportunity to get this new uh, bars. I must do that. It's better for my bike because I will crash more. I hope not. Such a nice road this. Oh, that's a small one. That's Chateau de Queribus. Okay.
so I paid seven euro. I could in without QR code. Everyone has something on the phone. Do we have one? I said no. What from what kind of nationality? So Holland, okay, you can go. So unbelievable. I can in and how long? Everyone has this thing on the on the phone. This is unbelievable. Okay, let's enjoy the view and the castle. Yeah, climbing. <laughs> yeah, nice. I like that. Nice climb. <laughs> so, and the view looks good. And the castle. The lady asked me my nationality, but that's because uh, of this phone. It's in uh, in Dutch. It is good. The castle is about uh, 300 meter large. It has an outer wall and an inner wall. And. Uh, Lodewijk, let us renovate it in, uh, I think, uh, 1200. It's a uh, huge. Living room. In 1250, the castle became the property of the French king Louis IX, the Holy, who had many improvements made and who also built the famous Escalier Saint Louis, this place. The impressive rock staircase that leads to the higher castle Saint Jordi, which was built as royal residence. But why walk now? Yes. Mm. 
Do nothing. What isn't allowed? Of course. Yeah. Stair from the stair. Elevator. Wasn't there. Now I'm at the top part and uh, you can see how high it is, the new thing where the king built. So he could look down to the people there who there lived. Uh, this is the part where the Qatars also found shelter long time. So nice. Old times. time with bow and arrow all the same effects as in this time so that was nice especially a lot of climbing look at there yes hello my friend uh, you left me alone yes I know Sometimes it's not necessary. Uh, it was nice. Yes. Very big castle. Very short video and I hope uh, you like it. Is uh, a lot of info and also many things about uh, the foundation of the Christian Church as we know at the moment. But that's not all the truth, it's more the inner church that's important. I hope you like this video. If thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>